hello beautiful and wonderful people welcome back to my channel i'm georgina if you are new to my channel it's so great to have you here in today's recipe i'll share with you how to make homemade sardines there is nothing like homemade sardines once you try it you're going to love it just look at how it came out it's so so tender and it turned out delicious i hope you're going to give this a try let's get started so as you can see my fish is not clean i'll go ahead and clean it by taking out the uh, the fangs cutting the fangs um cut through it and take out the guts but stay and uh, have it in mind don't cut the uh, the till neither the head as well because we're going to pull or we're going to debone it before using it to do that cut through the flesh not the bones you want to go ahead and cut through the head the head as well but don't take off the head until you get to where the bones is. Leave it and then press it to um, release the bones. Press it to make it soft so that when you're taking it out from the belly area, it's easily to come out, just as demonstrated in the video. And there are two ways to debone it. One is pulling it through the belly area, and then the other one is pulling it through the tail. The till side so this is it i'll show you how to pull out to the till side for the till side make sure you cut off the head as demonstrated in the video and then the till the till you're not going to cut it off cut through when you almost to the bone area leave it because that's the side you're going to hold to pull to pull it out when you are done squeeze it to release the bone and make it soft it helps to take out the bones easily make sure you, you you pull it until you find out that it's soft enough and then hold the till and then do like you're twisting it to release it more and then pull it it's very very simple and easy doing it once you make it once it will be easier for you to finish the race when you are done wash it and then arrange it like this or just wash it because we're going to put it in the bowl and then add in the spices. I hope you I hope I explain myself better. If you don't understand anything, you can ask me a question in the comment section and then I'll surely reply you. Once you are done, add in fish spices, vegetable seasoning. For the seasoning, you can use any seasoning of your choice. And this is ginger powder, garlic powder, and just um peppercorn sorry and just a little bit of salt and fennel seeds don't add in much salt just enough to um to give the fish a taste don't add in much salt when you're done cover it and marinate it for about 30 minutes before cooking it in the oil the next the next point we're going to do is to cook it so i'll add my vegetables to the to my saucepan and make sure i'll arrange them the vegetables are bell peppers and onion i'll arrange the fish on top just like so make sure you keep them close to each other and then um last thing i'll do is to uh, to spread on top green chili pepper and red chili pepper i'll add in some flour oil to cook this i'm not going to add in any water only some flour oil but you can use any oil of your choice i'll then close it and let it cook slow like put my gas on the lowest on the lowest part and then let it cook slowly until it's done so i cook this for one and a half hour let it cook slowly so after 30 minutes i check if everything was going on well and then it was okay and this is about one and a half hour and as you can see you, call, you can't see any sign of water in the in the fish that means it's cooked just look at it guys it came out so so delicious i hope you're going to give this a try because there's nothing like homemade sardines it was very very tender as well mm. In Ghana, we normally eat this with banku, kenke, rice, noodles. It goes with everything. 
it is so delicious <laughs> i hope you're going to give this a try why don't you give me a credit by giving this video a thumbs up comment like share subscribe to my channel if you haven't already follow my page and see you in my next video till then adios